Good afternoon, everyone. Pastor Ben here. You made it. It's Friday. It's here. But I've got even better news. Sunday's coming, and I'm excited for our time together this coming Sunday as we gather together to worship as a church family and body of believers together. I firmly believe and I'm excited about where God is leading us as a church and the next steps He has for us as well. I'm looking forward to where we're going next and I want to share some things with you this afternoon uh, and in anticipation of our time together on Sunday. So a couple of announcements I just want to make you aware of this Saturday. Uh, beginning at 2 o'clock is uh, Betty Chapman's birthday. And so uh, the Chapmans invited you, so please come. Uh, if you're available Saturday afternoon at the Fellowship Hall from 2 to 4, I'm sure that's right, uh, come and, and enjoy a time of fellowship together celebrating uh, Betty Chapman's birthday. It's going to be a great time, and I really hope that you're able to make it and celebrate that with Betty and others. So... Uh, that's kind of the only announcement I've really got today and am really excited going into this Sunday as we begin a new series in the book of Acts. And so got a quick uh, video intro that I want to share with you and then share some insights into where we're going on Sunday. So as we begin our series, I want to kind of ask you a couple of questions that are going to serve as a little bit of framework for where we're going over the, these next several weeks. So um, one of my favorite movies is the Back to the Future series. I love them. Uh, I love the, the idea behind, you know, going back in time and, and you try not to mess with anything that's going to affect the future. And of course, we always know what happens is, is one thing affects the other and so on. But um, as I was, as I'm preparing for Acts and, and our series, I, I wonder, and I kind of wanted to ask you this question, if you can go back to any point in time in history, where would you go? Where would you visit? What would you want to see? And, you know, in my line of work, um, I would love to go back to the time of, of Jesus. I would love to see uh, the miracles he did. I'd love to see his interactions. I'd love to see the things that happened and took place. And Acts is one of, those, um, one of those books of the Bible that sometimes we don't always look at in the right context. Um, I know that I kind of struggle at, at different times not reading it in the ways that, that I think Luke was intending us to, to kind of look at and understand it. Acts is written in many ways like a history book. It, it, it's a it's a story of history of what happened, these acts of the apostles, of how the church began to develop and grow, what Jesus was doing in the early church. And so uh, I would love to go back in time and, and see some of those things unfold. Um, what about you? Where would you go? What, what would you visit in history? And maybe that's that would be helpful to you as well. Um, the book of, of Acts is something too that, that really should bolster and encourage our faith. It should be something that, that we look at and see that God was faithful in what he had set out to do, faithful in fulfilling his promise of, of giving us the Holy Spirit, of establishing his church, and inviting us into this process of establishing his church going forward. So that's, that's one of those things that's going to be a framework for us as we move through the book of Acts over these next several weeks. The other part that I was kind of thinking about too is, is I've been reading ahead and, and, and studying is this idea of, um, of us presenting to God. I, I couldn't think of a better analogy than this, but uh, if we were to 
kind of express our life to God as a blank check. If we were to hand this blank check to God and allow him to do whatever he wanted to do with that check, would we be willing to hand that over to him? Would we be willing to allow him to write that check for any amount that we would be willing to to release, if that makes sense? In other words, as we are going to make our way through the book of Acts, the, the apostles basically turn their lives over to the cause of Christ. Are we willing to, to turn our lives over in the same way? Are we willing to, to place our hands in our life in the hands of Jesus, to do with it whatever he would choose to do? Do we trust him? Do we love him enough? That, that what he would do would be for not only our good, but for his good. We're, would we be willing to um, give our lives over in such a way? So that was one of those things that, that came to mind as I've been reading through. As we begin uh, this week, we're going to be spending our time in Acts chapter 1. I would encourage you to read through that. And again, these, these two kind of thoughts allow them to kind of frame how we're going to move through this. This is, this is a book of history. This is a book of what Jesus is doing, was doing, and wants to do going forward in the life of the church. And are we willing to kind of hand this blank check of our lives over to Jesus and allow him to write that check and us be willing to, to cash it, to, to allow him to do whatever he would want to do with our lives? Are we willing to do that? And so this is going to be a challenging series that we're going to work through. I'm excited about it. Uh, God's already doing some things in my own heart and life, pinpointing some things that um, that He's wanting me to hand over, things that, that are always His sanctification at work in my life. So while I'm excited about it, I'm also knowing too that, that this is going to be a, a very challenging and, and at times probably convicting time of us falling into the Lordship of Jesus, allowing Him to work out His purposes in our life. I hope you are going to enjoy this time together as a church family. Where does He want to take us as a church? How is He wanting to challenge us? What things does He have for us? And are we willing to to stay on board with that? So praying for you. I'm excited for our time together. And I would encourage you, go ahead and start reading through the book of Acts, allowing God to speak to you and and see where he desires to take you and us as a church. Praying for you. God bless. Can't wait to see you on Sunday.